Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. This is a review of Blender 3D Python scripting. Blender is a free and open source 3D computer graphics software toolset. It is cross-platform for Linux, Windows, Mac, including POS systems. Blender can be obtained at blender.org. You can download it here, the binaries, or you can go to the GitHub page and you can also download the source code and you can compile it yourself. So Blender has extensions, uh, add-ons and themes and if you want to learn how to create your own extensions you can go uh, to this URL. I will put it in the article and you can learn how to create extensions which are right now the add-ons or themes. Now, you can use Python, as you can see here, to create your extensions. So, of course, you need to learn how to use Python. Now, you can get the learning Python course. Uh, right now, this 20% up until the end of 2024. So, you can use this. Essentially, once you pay for it, you log into your account. You can go to paid content or here paid content in the sub-menu or from the main menu paid content then you choose the learning python course it remembers where you left off from uh, last time so we're going to go to the boolean and this we'll do this very quickly uh, in uh, blender so let's begin so in blender you have uh, the menu up here and then you have the workspaces so by default blender comes with the default cube a camera and a light as uh, the light is right here so we do need everything except oh here's the light we don't need the default cube uh, so but for now you uh, what we're going to do is you can see here we can go to in the object mode we can go to add add text and then we can uh, do a whole bunch of stuff uh, on the, the text object however we can also do this using python scripting that's the tutorial for today so here we're going to choose the scripting workspace and in the scripting workspace you have a Python console here and you also have an editor and with the editor you, we, it, you simply click new and then you can start typing Python so for example if I say name equals join see it has the syntax highlighting already so I can put num1 equals 5, this is for num2 equals 3 and I can print bool, I'm casting to boolean name so this should print true and print is for boolean and it's true I want to print something that will be false so num1 equals num2 so this should print false And if we go under the view here, see you can zoom in. Or I can use a control and it says it will. So that's much better. You can see it's like that. And we have now, a new, we also have context menus. Cut, copy, paste. We have the, you can save as, save all this here. 
there's an edit menu where we have the find and replace uh, which we didn't have uh, before and you can move lines up and down and also here you see we have this where you can run the script so if I run this script it out it output everything here now the reason why this doesn't run in here is because this has absolutely nothing to do with Blender so let's remove this now we can save this uh, if I go to see open text new text and view oh, text here text and a text I go to save as and then I can save it uh, here however I don't want to save this this was just the lesson from the, the tutorial from the learning python course at ojumbo.com what I do want to do is remove this and do blender so the first thing we do is we import the EPY that's to import the blender module and then I will remove the default queue So I grab all the data objects here and then I click the, uh, I remove the queue because it's named queue and do unlink true. So that will remove it. Next what I want to do is I want to generate and modify some text. So what I do is I create a variable called text curve let me zoom out a little bit here there we go and uh, it's the data curves new uh, type font and text next I need to create the text object so it's data objects new text text curve I need to exclude exclude eh, extrude it and I chose a 0 0.3 then we'll give it a depth which will be 0 0.15 0 0.015 next some resolution resolution and then next we need what the text content should be generate 3d in blender using python script next i want to align it to the center then i want to increase its size I also want to change its uh, character spacing to 1 and then I what location I want to put it at and I also want to rotate it unfortunately with Blender you have to use radians for the rotation so this is 45 degrees next I want to add it to the collection so the collection will be here so remember we'll, we are moving the default cube so I'm going to add it to this collection next I want to set the camera align the active camera so instead of deleting camera and adding one I'll just use the current camera there first thing I'll do is I'll select the text object then what I do is I align the camera to the to uh, the camera view to the selected object Then we're going to 
change the we're going to change the render settings here you you choose the location so this is my location there I use scene render path then you choose the image format you want I'm choosing WebP here you can use PNG or JPEG and the color mode I'm going to set to RGBA because I want the alpha transparency so I also need to change the film to transparent so when rendered out uh, it doesn't uh, render a color then the render resolution the, uh, the width will be 1920 and the height will be 1080 and the percentage I'll set it to 100 so if we go to the render settings here output you see it will be 1920 by 1080 100% this is where they're coming from and the output here and you see the color RGBA file format that's, that's what all this is here finally we render the image and then we save the file so I'm going to save the file as 3d.blend and before I run this I'll prove to you I can I can prove it to you that it actually does not I mean the file won't exist but it will exist after I run the script and as you can see here when you type things as well uh, the console will be helpful if you don't know which uh, um, which command to run or anything like that as well so when we're done here I'll go to text I'll go to save as and I'll choose tutorial here and I'll save this as 3d dot pi so it's saved Then next I'll show you in the command line uh, how this runs. Okay, here's my setup. This is the terminal and this is the folder. And you see we have the 3D pie here. I'm going to remove this 3D blend file and you can see and I'm going to remove this. So as you can tell, this, those files have been deleted. So what you do is you have to have Python installed. So you blender, whatever your location blender is, and hyphen B, that's to run it in the background, hyphen capital P, it means to run the Python file. And then obviously the path to your Python file, mine is just simply Python and watch what happens next. See, it saved a file called 3D blend and it created a file called 3d.webp in this folder here and we can open up our file here you see generate 3d in 3d 3d in blender using python script i didn't add any materials or colors just because to keep this tutorial simple now if we open up the blend file you should notice some of the settings you see this is the this was created by python and we we've selected if we go to the text properties you might notice some of this remember there's a resolution set it to 12 we set the geometry stuff yeah ge geometry the exclude if you remember this this is the exclude we set it to the depth is here, and oh sorry, not this resolution preview, 
it's this one here see 20 0 0.015 so the settings we've set up here if we go to the render settings uh, output you'll notice it's 10 1920 by 1080 100 percent and we also did six web p rgba and that's it so you can get the full article at ojambo dot com slash generate hyphen 3d hyphen in hyphen blender hyphen using hyphen python hyphen script see all the screenshots are here they'll be called samples the video as well and you can get blender at blender.org if you want the source code it's at github.com slash blender slash blender if you want the extensions are extensions.blender.org if you want to create your own uh, extensions including add-ons and themes you go to this link i have added it to the bottom here it should be yes it is this is same link here you can simply click there and of course we have the learning python course uh, remember it's 20% off to the end of 2020 using the promo code school s-c-h-o-o-l and of course this is what we did today once you log into your account you can simply type in you can use the web IDE and then you can simply type name compile and you see it says true thank you